Hello, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to unlock your HTC One Max with the HTC Dev uh, bootloader unlocker. Um, but let me start by doing a disclaimer that when you unlock your bootloader, it does like a factory reset and so you are going to definitely want to transfer all of your files from your internal storage things first you want to start by plugging in your phone to your computer and then the very next thing that should happen is it should pop up and you're going to see internal storage here let's see if we can zoom in and get a better picture of that so you see how you have internal storage and SD card I'm sure you're going to have a whole lot more storage than that on your phone um, unlocking your bootloader because I just unlocked mine and so it was wiped clean which is why it has nothing um, but what you want to do is you want to go into it and highlight everything um, on the uh, you want to highlight everything so what you want to do is you want to go in and you want to highlight everything um, the easiest way to do it would be to left click the first one press shift on your keypad and while you're holding shift select that one then do a mass copy or cut it doesn't matter because um, it's all going to be wiped anyway alright and then what you want to do then is paste it somewhere um, on your computer which um, have a lot of windows open um, which you know you right click it you press paste and then you wait the uh, 15 20 30 minutes for it to transfer however long that takes depending on how much information you have but um, just so you know here is the one that I created um, it's called my phone's name is Maxi so it's called Maxi I can zoom in and show it to you um, it's called Maxi 2014 um, December 5th and so just to show it to you this is everything that was on my phone alright so I also did it you want to do it if you don't want to lose anything especially your pictures and things of that nature okay and the very next thing you want to do is you want to go to www.htcdev.com which is www.htcdev.com and uh, when you go there this is what the page looks like and the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select unlock the bootloader and then uh, once you unlock the bootloader you're going to say get started and then um, you're going to select the device that you have which for us it is the HTC One Max and then you say get instructions well, it's going to tell you you're not logged in, and it's going to tell you either log in or create an account, register. So, if you need to register, you just register. Here's the information that you get; they give you, and then they're going to send you an email um, confirmation after that. Then, once you get the email confirmation, you then come back and you sign in again you go through the process again you come back here once they send you the email confirmation and um, you go through the process or you go here let's do log out and you'll see here it says username and password um, the best thing for you to do is just go ahead and um, log in your username and your password now when they send you this email 
um, they're going to give you their own password. It's best to just copy it because it's going to be a bunch of capital and lowercase letters that you're not going to remember and a couple of numbers. And then, like I said, you go here, you select unlock bootloader, you say get started, you select your type of phone, and then you say um, begin to unlock bootloader. Once you do that, okay, so once you put in your password and you get in, you're going to start with step one. Um, but there are some very crucial things that you may need for this process. If you don't already have them, you're going to need to get the Google Android SDK, um, the Java runtime environment, this HTC Sync, uh, Windows only, and... You're also going to need to get um, Fastboot just in case you may or may not have it. It's in step four. Um, and, of course, the instructions outline all of that. So they tell you how to power down your phone, um, step two, um, and, and, and uh, go back into the bootloader. Then they tell you to connect to your computer. Then they tell you to download these um, steps. Um, and then, but in the process of step one and four, there are some key downloads that are off here, um, to the right as well. Then the next thing that you want to do is you want to proceed to step five. Step five shows you how to get what they call, um, your unlock token. Um, and what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to open your command prompt. And then you're going to have to put in this code. Um, it's fastboot OEM get underscore identifier underscore token. Um, and I'm going to see if I can zoom in more on that and try to get that clearer. Not really. Ah, there we go. So the best thing for you to do would be to take this and without the period and copy it. Now hopefully you already have um, Android SDK and Fastboot and all of those things. If you don't and you just downloaded them um, for the first time. Um, you're going to need to create a folder in your C drive. Um, so let's see. Let's go here. Let's open this up. So you're um, going to have to go into your C drive. And you see uh, when you open a folder, it says local C. Then the next thing that you're going to have to do is go into your program files and here you will create a new folder um, and the way that you create a new folder is by clicking home um, hitting new folder um, and then you're going to have to be sure to rename it Android okay so to rename a folder you just right click it, go down to rename, and then type the name in and press enter. Okay, oh, I hit another folder. Once you do that, you're going to need to open it. And you're going to need to transfer all the files that you downloaded from the website if you don't currently have them. If you've already installed Android SDK and all of those things, then you just simply go to your SDK folder, go to platform tools, and that's where your fast boot and all of those things will be located. Um, unless you're just downloading them, then you'll be just um, copying and pasting. If you've already installed it, you'll have um, a platform tools folder. And as you can see here, fast boot is here. You would then um, uh, come here and you want to press your right click button first then the shift key and release them both at the same time okay, that's going to open up a little window here and then you're going to click open command window alright 
Now when you open that, that's going to put you exactly where you want to be to put this um, token in. Now mind you, if you've had to pause the video and you've had to download all of the things to install, remember you got to put your phone back in bootloader and plug it into the computer. Um, this is where you connect your phone to the computer and push the command. Alright, so um, just to refresh. Um, this is the the command fast boot all right and you press you uh, paste that and then you press enter and once you do that you're gonna get an identifier token and um, what I found out in this process that is extremely important is when you get the identifier token it says um, please cut the following message you have to start with the first arrow on the left underneath that down to where it says token end to the last arrow so the best thing to do is to right click on um, zoom in on that so you want to right click and then Let's see. You want to press select all. Everything's going to turn white. The next thing you need to do is go to that first arrow here and left click that and then drag it to the corner of the arrow on the right. Once you do that, you're going to have to do control C on your keypad to copy it or even um, control X. I believe cuts it. Once you get done with that, you're then going to scroll down to step number seven and you're going to paste it here. Now, and then once you paste it, you press submit once you press submit you're gonna get a token you know, committed successfully or submitted successfully and then you'll get further instructions from there so here it is I submitted the um, token and everything and it says token submitted successfully and they're letting me know that I will get the unlock key and further instructions by email now that you've got the email um, you're gonna then and you've downloaded the uh, bin file from the email the next thing you're gonna want to do is you're want, gonna want to copy and paste from the downloads so you go or cut and paste so you go to the downloads um, you select um, the bin file you copy and you go right back to the folder we were in before so if you keep it open you can just click back to it the Android platforms and as you can see here I've pasted you just right click and you paste and the unlock code bin is there all right and from there you can keep your window open or you might have to open another window if you have to open another window is simply the right click and shift again and but I kept my same window open so what you want to do then is you want to will you see the line blinking on the next line the the one you just copied the fast boot flash unlock token unlock underscore code dot bin when you um, paste that there and press enter it'll go through the process and the very next thing you're going to do is you're going to get a message that pops up on your phone and it's going to ask you, would you like to unlock your bootloader? 
you have to then use the power and volume buttons scroll to yes I believe you have to scroll up for yes and then you um, hit the power button to select yes and your phone will reboot well when it reboots it's going to reboot into your activation screen and that is how you unlock your HTC device specifically HTC one max with HTC dev boot unlocker this is what the pop-up looks like on your phone